Hello guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another PUBG video for Xbox and PlayStation 4. We've had quite a lot of stuff to cover lately guys, which is very awesome, it's a positive sign for the game going forward. Today I'm looking quickly at Season 4, just released on PC, coming soon to console, the PTS date, and we're looking at upcoming BP changes. If the video is useful, a like is appreciated. We'll start with Season 4, I'm not going to go over the details of Season 4 in this video, I'll wait a little bit closer till release. I can confirm the release date is the August update for Season 4 on Xbox and PS4. The big features of that update are the visual update to Erangal, tons of nerfs and buffs to weapons and vehicles, matchmaking changes we talked about in the last video, a radio for your car and just tons more stuff. There's also new lore as well which you can see in the trailer I'm showing for Season 4. It's showing us the history of Erangal which I think the devs are wanting to build up a bit in preparation for the release in the future of a story mode or co-op story of some kind which would be very cool so all of that or most of that will be arriving in around six week time at the end of august on console but i'm sure we will see a bit of that earlier on the pts as adding something like a huge visual change to erica without testing first would probably be a bad idea also, we're still waiting to see ledge grabbing. Unless we get lucky and they sneak it into the July one, we will see that in August as well. So I'm going over season four more once we get the PTS and the next update out of the way. For the PTS, it arrives on July the 23rd. The live server update is one week later on July 30th and the PTS doesn't actually end until August the 6th. The reason for the PTS closing a week after the live server update is to test backend server stabilizations which will then be applied to the live servers on August the 13th. So as an incentive for us to take part in the PTS while there's the live servers to play, we'll be rewarded with BP. So first week participation is 4,000 BP, but you have to play for more than three hours on the PTS. Second week participation again is 4,000 BP with three hours of gameplay. And for participating in both weeks, you will get an additional 2,000 BP. So all in all, you can earn 10,000 if you fully participate in the test over the next two weeks. You just need to play six hours in total on the PTS, three in each week. That leaves us then guys with some upcoming BP changes to console. From this graph here, it shows the average BP balance of console players over time. The average player has around 11,000 sitting around. It's gonna be even more after the next two weeks if you play the PTS. To make BP more valuable, the devs are thinking of new ways to spend it, including things like refreshing the survivor pass missions for new ones if you don't like them at the cost of BP. And that will actually be a feature in the next update, not the July one, but the August one. They are also working on adding in new other ways of spending BP. But of course, the main way will always be cosmetics, which is why in this update on July 30th, we are getting 28 new cosmetics to spend BP on and I will go over them. They are the checkered shirt in coral, khaki combat gloves, coral combat pants, cropped corset, the denim bootcut pants, floral retro jacket, high top canvas sneakers in pink, the mesh polo shirt and the retro polo shirt, school shoes in beige, the zest bootcut pants, the zest checkered skirt, the zest denim jacket, the zest loafers with socks, the zest retro jacket, zest silk scarf, Zest sunglasses and the Zest turtleneck in white. But we're also getting some other stuff. The air guitar emote, draw emote, zapper, two different Sabi emotes and the Kung Fu Bao emote. So all of that stuff will be available to purchase for BP. I'm pretty sure the emotes are something around 5,000 BP or something, so it's quite high. So you won't be able to buy tons of stuff with the 11,000 or however much you have. With the August update, we'll be getting even more stuff, including the Madzy Sneaker Collection, which will also be sold with BP. They include classic loafers, the strapped loafers, tip loafers, BG1 chasers, trekkers, and defenders. Plus, different skins to buy with BP, including the Battlestat skin, which records the number of kills you have with the gun on the actual weapon. Those are just a couple of the things that we will see in the next update in August. Guys, that is about it for this video. Wanted to share with you the season four release date, which has been confirmed for August as of right now. Of course, things are always subject to change when we get closer, but the next update after the one we're about to get will include things like the Erangel visual update. So it's gonna be a big one. Plus, I want to give you guys some info on the PTS where you can earn BP 
and new cosmetics which you can spend that BP on in the next update. I'll be back very soon then with the patch notes for PTS and any news we get on the game. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.